Hi, Casey here with Wildlife ABQ. I just wanted to go over how to do a sub-Q injection. Sometimes you're gonna pick the kit up at the clinic and sometimes we'll ship it directly to your house, but you're gonna get a whole box. If it's not in a cooler, it's because it's shelf stable at room temperature, so you don't need to worry about that. When you get your product, it's all gonna be in a bag. And so everything's gonna come in a bag, including the product itself. And so you wanna take the prescription bottle, open it, get your vial out, now the instructions are actually on the prescription bottle and the vial itself actually doesn't have the instructions on it. So do not throw away your prescription bottle. When you first get the vial, it's going to have a little cap on it and you just flip, they're called flip top caps. You just flip it off of there and you're going to see a little rubber stopper. You're going to take an alcohol swab and clean the stopper. Then you're going to take one of the syringes. Now the instructions on this particular injectable state 0.1 mLs and these are insulin syringes so they don't completely line up but on the insulin syringe you're going to see markings that say 10, 20, 30. 10 units is what the markings are equals 0.1 mL. So um, that's what you're going to be doing. These particular ones come with these like little, they're almost like safety devices so you can take that off. I've already cleaned the stopper. You're going to take the lid off the syringe and you're going to inject right into the middle of the stopper and I'll stabilize my hand on the vial. Otherwise I'm kind of like, Ugh. and so you want to inject straight in if possible, not the end of the world. If you go at an angle, flip it over. So the liquid's actually at the bottom where the needle is and just pull back the dose. Now, because there's a tiny bit of air in the needle itself, you're probably going to get a little bubble and um, I didn't really get too much of a bubble on this one, but uh, you just pull straight back and then I'll often, oh, there's a little bubble, I'll often, so you, when you're doing the bubbles, you kind of click where you're trying to get it back into the needle and then you push it back into the vial and you, um, you can pull past the dose that you need so that you can push the um, bubbles out. And so I've got the 10, the 10 unit, the 10 unit mark, but 0.1 mLs. And before I take the needle out, you want to flip it over because sometimes these vials have a little pressure in them and the solution will come squirting out at you when you do that, when you pull the needle out. So when you pull the needle out, um, hopefully if a little bit of solution comes out, that's just kind of how it is. But um, sometimes the needle will bend a little bit when you're, cause they're so tiny. You want to, um, if it is bent, you can take the cap of your needle and kind of straighten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and so, and it be gentle too. If it's bent pretty bad, just kind of get it almost to straight so that you can then use it to inject. And so then you recap your syringe until you're ready to use it. Unless you're ready to use it, you don't need to recap. You can just go forward with the injection. It'll take a little bit of practice. The first one will feel really shaky. And then before you know it, you'll be a pro. So that's the first part of this video. The next part will be showing how to do the actual sub-Q injection. Thanks.